Hello everyone. We have a lesson in algebra today for lower bound and upper bound for any amount. Let me start with easy uh, example to understand what's the meaning of this. Yesterday I gave this pencil to my daughter and I asked her to um, measure the length of this by ruler. She said it's about 18 centimeters that. Good. Okay. Let me write 18 here on the number line. And I ask you, what is the possible, this 18 centimeter, what is the possible length, or the exact length possible for the pencil? Someone will say 18.1. Yes, maybe. 18.2, 18.3, 18.4, or 18.5, or less than 18.5. 18.5. Maybe it's real length less than 18, like 17.9, 0.8, 0.7, or minimum uh, 0.5, 17.5. This means 17.5 is the smaller number that if you round it to the nearest unit, you gives, gives you 18. And the 18.5, not 18.5 itself, just the number just before 18.5. So for this reason, we write the possible value x of the length of the pe a pencil lies between 17.5 and 18.5. 17.5 is called the lower bound or the minimum number that rounded to get 18. And 18.5 is called the upper bound. Lower bound and upper bound. So our lesson today about how to calculate the lower bound and upper bound for any amount you measure it. Let me start to give you some easy examples or questions to solve with me. Consider you have 24 kilograms, you weigh something, 24 kilograms to the next kilogram. What is the upper bound and lower bound? The idea, the same unit here, the unit means one. Divide one by two, you get half. So the upper bound and lower bound, this is the center number or the number rounded, 24. You just add half to get the upper bound and subtract half to get the lower bound. This is the idea. So the upper bound 24.5, lower bound 23.5. We write it this way. X bigger than or equal 23.5 and smaller than 24.5. Easy, yes? This question, 90 meter to the nearest 10. Take this number to the nearest 10 divided by two, gives you five. So the upper bound, upper bound equals 90 plus five and the lower bound equals 90 minus 5. Very easy. 95 and 85. Okay? Continue. 300 to the nearest 100. The same way. 300 in the middle. Add and subtract. Halfway of 100. This is 300. Half of 100 is 50. Just to add 50 will be 350, the upper bound. And subtract 50, you will get 250 is the lower bound. Very easy. You can write it as upper bound and lower bound like this, or you can write it just to separate numbers in a, or inequality. X bigger than or equal 250 and low, lower than 350. 7.3 to the next tenth. Tenth means 0 0.1. If you divide 0 0.1 by 2 to get it's a half, you get 0 0.05. So the lower bound, 7.3 minus 0 0.05, and upper bound is 7.3 plus 0 0.05. This is the idea to calculate the lower bound and upper bound. Very easy. 7.25 here and 7.35. Continue the last example here I have. 0 0.36 to the nearest two decimal places. Two decimal places here means 0 0.01. Yani the unit in this location, it's a value 0 0.01. Divided by two is 0 0.005. So add one time 0 0.005 and subtract it from the approximated number, lower 0 0.36, 0 0.36. So your answer is 0 0.365 upper bound. This is upper bound.
this is lower bound. This one would be 0 0.3. You can use a calculator to subtract or mentally if you are able to do it. Uh, here, 3.6 centimeter to the nearest millimeter. When you have a number rounded and to the nearest another unit, the unit here is different. This centimeter, this is millimeter. The, the, you have to change centimeter to millimeter first. So I have, you just multiply by 10, you know each centimeter is 10 millimeter. I have 36 now millimeter corrected to the nearest millimeter. So it's the same unit. So the lower bound and upper bound, just subtract half from this number, 35.5, and add half, 36.5. This is the way to calculate the lower bound and the upper bound for some different question. Let's continue to this part, the lower bound and upper bound of some difference and the product quotient of two amounts. Consider I have, I want to add two amounts. These two amounts are bounded or are rounded to some, to the 10 or 100 or 10th or 100th, whatever. I want to calculate the lower bound of this sum and the upper bound. If you add two amounts, the lower bound will be A lower plus B lower. Of course, I get the minimum. I want the minimum amount. So minimize each of them. So A lower plus B lower. The upper will be upper, of course. Upper, A upper plus B upper. For the product, the same way as you did in addition. I want to maximize the product of two amounts, A times B, you have to maximize each of A and B. So A, uh, maximize, I'm sorry here. <laughs> A upper times B upper. Minimize will be A lower times B lower. Okay? The difference between two amounts. A minus B. The lower bound of a difference between two amounts is the first amount lower minus the second amount upper to get the minimum difference between them. The, the inverse will be here. I want to get upper bound of a difference, start with upper. A upper minus B lower. A division of A and B, sometimes we can write it here, A divided by B in this way, the same way in a subtraction here. A uh, you want to lower, start with lower. A lower divided by B upper, and the upper bound is A upper divided by B lower. This is summarization for the four operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division to calculate their upper and lower bound. I have example here to understand this idea. The dimensions of a rectangle are 6 cm and 10 cm rounded to the near centimeter. Look, centimeter and centimeter means the same unit. What is the lower and upper bound for the area of this rectangle? You know area of the rectangle is length times width? Yes, length times width. I want the upper bound and lower bound. The lower bound, you know the area of rectangle, as I said, length times width. I will not multiply 6 and 10. I want to multiply the lower bound of 6 and lower bound of 10. Very good. This unit now, um, this number is measured to the nearest unit, so just to subtract the half and add half. Subtract and add half to the number to get lower and upper bound. So lower bound of 6 is 5.5 uh, uh, times lower bound of 10 is 9.5. Upper bound is 6.5 times 10.5. So the area links and the width lies between we can use a calculator to solve this one. Five point five times nine point five equals fifty two point two five and the upper bound six point five times ten point five equals again six point five times ten. 0.5 is equal to 68.25. So this is the minimum area of the rectangle maybe, and this is the maximum area or less than this value is the maximum area or upper bound of the area of rectangle. Thank you so much. See you next time. The part two will, will uh, include all possible val uh, question uh, come or came in the past papers to practice to solve this question. Thank you so much. Goodbye.